St. Clair County Risa presents Dateline Schools, hosted by Terry Harrington. This week on Dateline Schools, we're taking a look at some of the fun learning opportunities that are still out there for our enjoyment this summer. So we're visiting Porter and City Rec and talking with Rec Supervisor Amanda Dickinson, as well as City Rec Director Nancy Windsor. And, and, and Nancy, we know Port Huron is the largest community on Western Lake Huron, so swimming and swimming safety is important. What are you doing here in, in Port Huron to help keep our waterways safe? Well, we're always thinking about how to keep our waterways and our swimming pools safe here at City at City Rec. Um, obviously, at our swim, at our pools, we have all our swim lessons. We take, you know, the safety of the kids and teaching them safety very serious. Um, at both the beaches, obviously, we really encourage people to be, you know, if you have children, to be watching them and remembering that our waters are, you know, ever turning with riptides and changes of wind. And we just really need to be vigilant to watch each other you know go with someone else even if you're not a kid be with a buddy be down at the beach obey our swim lines we see a lot of times where people feel the need to swim beyond them <laughs> um and they're there for a reason so we need to respect our you know we have beautiful waterways but we need to respect them we remember life jackets when we're kayaking life jackets when we're canoeing and if you don't know how to swim you need to go get some lessons whether it's with us or with the ymca mm -hmm. it's so important to learn how to mm -hmm. swim and do you find local kids really step up and be responsible and, and want to become lifeguards too we sure do we have lots of programs at at uh, the pools we do junior lifeguarding so we start them out really young when they're done with swim mm -hmm. lessons and then from there we really highly encourage people to learn to be a lifeguard because it's a great skill to have and and the man i know last year we saw a lot of new things going on at lakeside a lot of improvements in that anything new there and and what are we also doing at lake lighthouse beach this year too well we definitely had a lot of improvements at lakeside and we're always looking to see what worked last year and improve on that so we're we are doing different things we have how a couple of pavilions coming yes we have um we do have a couple of pavilions coming at lakeside and um the first one will be in this summer a small one that's been donated by the rotary club and a larger one and at lighthouse we have just applied for a grant through the dnr and we'll be looking for future improvements there but the one we already did get approved for is at pine grove park so you'll be seeing improvements there and also i have to just say we have our new splash pad at knox park as well we'll be back with more tomorrow for dateline schools i'm terry harrington